quick post file review anything I say in this video is subject to change as I'll probably watch the fight again and maybe talk some more shit and seeing as I talk a whole bunch of it on this channel YouTube has decided to demonetize me so if you feel like uh, supporting my channel check out the patreon link in, link in the description and big shout out and a huge thank you to all the fellas that already have i really 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 appreciate it thanks so much anyway first things first um, good very good all things considered perhaps even an excellent performance by alexander usik on the other hand a uh, very disgraceful performance by Derek Chisora, who decided uh, not to box in this fight. And all of a sudden, like, oh, no, 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 holding this part of boxing, right? Low blowing is part of boxing. Okay, well, fucking PEDs are part of boxing, right? Hey, let's make uh, baseball bats part of boxing. How about it? Right? It's part of anything. <laughs> boxing is boxing, basically. And all that other shit, I don't know what that is, but it's ugly. It disrupts the action it's fucking horrendous to, to look at it's it's boring and it's preventing uh a guy who's known to be a virtuoso when he is allowed to box it's preventing us boxing fans from seeing perhaps a virtuoso performance right in a weird way um and i've always stated that chisora was always going to be a very dangerous fight for Usyk, but in a weird way uh, Chisora kind of fought in survival mode. Okay, all that ugly, dirty shit. That's him conceding that he cannot box with this dude, right? But, I mean, if you're not willing to box, then don't fucking call it boxing. And don't charge people who want to see boxing to watch this shit. But this is why I don't pay for this stuff, man. You know what I mean? And you're a dummy if you do. No offense. No offense. Well... Maybe you just got a whole bunch of money, so kudos to you, but you're definitely not helping boxing, that's for damn sure. Why would you pay for this shit, right? Why would anybody pay for any Chisora fights? Filthy mouth, uh, degenerate, right? Some of the, I'm not even going to get into the things that he says, forget about it. But, you know... All that low blowing, hugging, wrestling, not landing legal punches, and, and yeah, that's not boxing. And it really was, truly was a very disgraceful performance, also by the referee and at least two other judges. So it is what it is. We were expecting this, right? This is, uh, they're showing AJ basically how to fight Usyk. How to fight Usyk? Well, like Klitschko against Povetkin, basically, right? For which he got, you know, a whole bunch of shit and not a lot of credit. If that is to ever happen with AJ, oh man, you'll you'll see tons of credit. But that's also part of boxing, I guess. All things considered, this really was an excellent performance. And I think if we were allowed to just see boxing in that ring, I think, I'm not saying for sure he would have stopped Chisora, but I think Usyk would have had a very good chance of stopping him because um, he would have been able to time him better. He would have been able to work on his game plan, uh, set him up for shit, land more punches, break him down. And I think he would have stopped him eventually. So yeah, in a weird way, Chisora was fighting in a, very aggressive survival mode, right? He he can't he didn't believe he could survive against Usyk just boxing, so he did all that extra ugly shit, ripping you off basically, right? If you were a boxing fan, obviously. So and he ripped us off from seeing an a more impressive performance by Usyk, right? So this this is what we want, really? Is this what we want? Man, that's pussy shit. Anyway, Usyk's power um, looked pretty good. Nothing spectacular, you know. But if you knew anything, you understood that he's always going to be the type of guy that breaks you down and stops you, if ever, late. Um, with accumulation and then increasingly sharper and harder punches as the fight goes on. 
this is just how the Usyks and, and the Chenkas fight, basically. And I think because of Chisora's power and, you know, all the dirty tactics and all this, someone's going at your balls all the time, right? He's conditioning you to drop your hands, too. Not only is he hurting you, right, slowing you down, he's conditioning you to drop your hands because he wants to set you up for something upstairs, right? So, yeah, I think we would have seen a far better, more impressive, fun to watch, more entertaining performance by both guys if they just stuck to boxing. So, Usyk, there were a few instances early on in the fight where he committed to his punches and he hurt Chisora multiple times. Not tremendously, but he rocked them. Two, three more clean shots after that, and he puts Chisora down, right? Um, and then, because Chisora just had like a second and a third and a fourth wind, man, it, it was breezy up in that bitch. Um, <laughs> he, you know, just when it looked like he might be done, he would come back and... Usyk understood, I think I did, that he was fighting in spurts, right? Ebbs and flows, uh, looking to explode and go to work hard and try to knock Usyk out and then kind of also take breaks by not being as aggressive. And Usyk was slowing him down too. So that's what that was. But um, Usyk was, you know, <laughs> guys, he's not going to chance millions of dollars millions of pounds, whatever, because you want to see him knock somebody out, okay? He'll go, to, he'll go to work, and he'll put the hurt on the other guy, he'll lend nice punches, he'll win, do everything he got to do to win. But if you think he's going to put his chin out there and get potentially knocked out by Chisora when he's got a comfortable league going and millions of dollars, potentially, right, on the line, come on, man. Relax, okay? Uh, if it were necessary, okay? If Chisora were able to make Usyk fight like he wanted to, then we would have seen Usyk's uh, full power, okay? Then we would have seen his power. I'm not saying it would have been that much greater, but um, I believe there's more than what we saw today. And a lot of his punches, he was just outpointing him and just pecking at him here and there a little bit, not committing to a lot of shots because Chisora showed that he could walk through one punch from Usyk or even try to slip it and then counter with something. And Usyk just boxed, right? He basically, he didn't fight. He didn't counter much. He just boxed and won the fight clearly by four rounds even. Um, so eight to four perhaps, I don't know. I have to watch the fight again. I wasn't really scoring, but I was making uh, taking notes of when what rounds Chisora did well in, or how many of them. And yeah, I could see him getting four maybe. But I'll watch the fight again. You know, he made things very uncomfortable and, and hard for Chisora, but like, who didn't expect that, right? Like, what, what you thought he was just gonna do what? What Floyd did to Maidana, he was going to do that? Or what Floyd did to um, Baldomir, like that? You know, what, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, relax. It's all good. Um, his first serious fight at heavyweight, and, well, he did better than Dillian White, right? So, and he's already the Mando to AJ, so, you know, why do we need to see any more of these... Uh, types of fights why do you want to see AJ tested against one of the best guys in boxing right now or do you want to beat that guy up by serving them up all these uh, chumps who can't box hmm? yeah I thought so anyway good performance by, by Usyk I think there's more there than that and if someone could push him there that, that's when we're going to see it but one thing I don't want to see myself is this little guy uh, taking these beatings by all these uh, 
roided up huge fucking dudes, right? There, there's no testing right now. Look, if Chisora is willing to cheat, right, out in the open, right, just low blow after low blow, all this dirty shit, right, if he's willing to do that, you think he got qualms about doing PEDs? Especially if there's no testing? Usyk, on the other hand, and Loma is like that to a certain degree, even though he learned the hard way. He's still learning, looks like. Usyk is just too honorable to foul right back, right? Which doesn't mean he's a clean fighter, but if either one of these two guys is, it's probably Usyk, right? And, or chances are, he may be. You know what I mean? I mean, he looks the same size. He looks a little bit thicker, right? Because he's walking around at a more comfortable weight. But he didn't blow up like some of these some of these uh, other cruiserweights like David Hay. Oh, David Hay had such tremendous power. Well, yeah. He was on fucking rocket fuel, okay? And if Usyk is taking anything, it's nothing nowhere near as powerful as what David Hay was on. Or Holyfield, right? So, you know, yeah, that's just it, isn't it? All things considered, this was a very good performance by Usyk, you know? And I think all the people that don't seem to get this would have been perhaps, if they're willing to, to you know, actually talk about boxing and understand boxing, they would have been convinced that this was an excellent performance had the referee forced Derek Chisora to, to box Usyk, right? He can fight, he could punch, he could counter, he could do whatever, he can employ any style of boxing that he wants, so long as it's boxing, right? Not any of that uh, gutter shit. But, you know, the kid's a hood rat. He's a hood rat and, you know, he likes to kiss dudes and talk a lot about yeah, anal sex with men. I mean, that's just great fucking role model there, right? Oh, man. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, good performance by Usyk. Disgraceful performance by Chisora. The monster probably just knocked out Maloney. But, you know, I'm not, I want to see that fight, but it, it's not exciting, right? It's not like, yeah, like I wonder what the outcome is going to be such as in this fight this is this was a lot more interesting and and should have been a lot better but i guess the british board of boxing whatever the fuck they're called man sounds like the bbc hmm. oh what a coincidence they're all coincidences i'm sure um they they didn't want to give you a good boxing match okay it's just it wasn't in their interest i guess so you know, you want to pay for that. It is what it is. Um, good fight. Decent fight. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better. Thanks for watching.